Hey, Oliver fans. So we had a little bit of a rough week. Oliver is totally fine now, but there were a couple of scary days earlier in the week that I'm going to tell you about. But yeah, he is doing great now. So uh, first thing I need to tell you is Oliver often eats stuff off the ground. Yeah. So it's something that we've been concerned about for a long time. It's something that I think lots of dogs do. Oliver is a very food motivated dog. So when he finds something on the ground that to him seems like food, he will often eat it. We often try to get this thing out of his mouth. We'll put our hands into his mouth to try and get it out. Sometimes we succeed, sometimes not. I remember once when he was a puppy, I was super scared because there was a pile of leaves and he grabbed something in it before I could see what it, even really what it was. And I could sort of see that maybe it was a rib bone and he swallowed it before I could get it out of his mouth. And we went to the vet and I was super concerned about it. And the vet said, you know, dog's stomachs are actually pretty strong. So let's just do a wait and see attitude and see if anything happened. And nothing ever happened. He apparently digested this rib bone. So um, yeah, over time we've like mostly been willing to adopt a wait and see attitude when he eats something off the ground. This week, this past weekend, things were much worse than usual. So Oliver had been having what we call loose stools for a few days before, um, which is something he has sometimes. It's, you know, pretty normal for a dog, but on Sunday it got a lot worse. And around 4 p.m. on Sunday, he passed a stool that wasn't like anything I'd ever seen before. And we later realized that it was something called Melena, M-E-L-E-N-A. And Melena is when you pass a stool that has digested blood in it. And you can tell it's got a very, oh, are you destroying Chester? Poor Chester. Okay, so he's had a rough week. I guess Chester's having a rough minute right now. Um, yeah, so this digested blood, it makes the stool look very black. And in this case, it was also diarrhea. So it, it was very unusual. It was like the consistency of coffee grounds. It was awful. So that was 4 p.m. on Sunday. We weren't quite sure what to do. We started researching about it on the internet. And then he did it again, and then he threw up. And then we're like, okay, this is really serious. He's vomiting, he has diarrhea. This is an unusual color. We need to take him to the emergency right away. And so we got to him to the emergency around 8 p.m. on Sunday, and they said, you did the right thing. We need to admit him. We don't know what's going on, but uh, we can tell from the blood test that he's dehydrated. So Oliver and Chester, does Chester really need to be completely de-stuffed? You love Chester, okay. We will restuff Chester later. Um, so not only did they recommend that um, he stay for a few hours and get tested, and we stayed with him there for, I think, three hours at the emergency. When it came time around 11 p.m., they said, actually, we'd like to keep him overnight um, so that we can rehydrate him and um, sort of keep investigating what was wrong because they couldn't find anything that was wrong with him in the tests. So. As a result, Oliver spent, for the very first time, yeah, he spent the night in the hospital and um, he had an IV to rehydrate him. And you can see that his leg was shaved right here so they could put the IV in. Um, they took really good care of him. They sent us updates and they said in the morning, it was Monday morning, they said, you know, we'd really like to keep him for a while longer. He still has diarrhea. And of course they were also giving him antibiotics at the same time because one thing that can cause Melena is something called hemorrhagic gastroenteritis. It's written on the form here. Let me read it. Hemorrhagic gastroenteritis is basically blood and upset stomach together. So the blood, there's something bleeding inside because the gastroenteritis is so severe, it actually causes some blooding, some bleeding inside, which obviously is super scary. Oh my goodness. What is happening to Chester? Oliver, are you sure? We love Chester, don't we? Okay, so um, Chester is going to need a big repair job after this video is done. Um, and yeah, so we um, he was still in the hospital on Monday. Uh, they kept him to keep rehydrating him. And then they asked to keep him on Monday night as well. And then um, his stools basically firmed up or he stopped having diarrhea. And they felt confident that he had rehydrated enough that we could take him home. So we went to get him on Tuesday morning and we went to pick him up. He was actually wearing one of these. Um, it's called an Elizabethan collar. He's never had to wear one before. Apparently he protested a bit when they put it on him. 
And uh, clearly the reason why they had to use this was so that he wouldn't pull out the IV, um, which was in his, um, his arm or his uh, paw area. Um, sometimes it's called the cone of shame. And we haven't actually tried putting it on. What do you think of the cone of shame, Oliver? What do you think of it? And he's, this is what it looks like when a dog is wearing it. And now you can't, you can't destroy Chester now. How do you feel about this? Not so happy, okay. Yeah, that's the cone of shame. Yeah, we don't like the cone of shame either. We're gonna, I'm gonna take it off. Okay, I'll take it off, I'll take it off. So, uh, in, the, in the end, we never really, um, there were never any signs of serious damage in the x-rays or any of the blood tests. So we think he's perfectly back to normal and fine now. Of course, he, was going, he went on antibiotics as soon as he got there um, on Sunday night. So clearly it seems that what happened was he had some kind of bacterial infection, presumably from eating something off the ground. And here's where we come back to that, which is that, you know, it's hard with dogs to prevent them. Honestly, Oliver, do you have to do that right in the middle of this video? It's hard to prevent dogs from eating things off the ground. None of us are ever going to be 100% successful at doing it. Oliver, really, that is sort of ruining the video when you're licking like that. Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay. So Oliver was in the hospital for two nights, and then on Tuesday morning, we got a phone call saying we could come and pick him up, which we were so happy to hear that he was uh, well enough that he could be discharged. So we were super excited. We went to pick him up. Of course, we hadn't seen him for 36 hours at that point, and he was doing great, actually. He, his tail was wagging. He was happy to see us, and we, of course, were super happy to see him. But at the same time, he was typical Oliver. He was... Um, sniffing around the nurses' stations and the cashier area, hoping to find some treats somewhere. So that was like um, very typical Oliver. And his tail was wagging and he looked like he was in really good health. So yeah, they sent us home with a list of medications that Oliver is apparently gonna wanna eat right now. Um, you're actually eating the list, Oliver? <laughs> Why? <laughs> What's wrong with the list? This is very important. No, it's a very important list. It has all your medications, Oliver. No. Okay, so all of the medications are listed here. Apparently Oliver is not very happy about this list. He's decided to destroy it. No, no, it's really important. Okay, so one thing that he needs to take, uh, I could, I'll try to read it before he's done destroying it, is um, metronidazole, um, which is an antibiotic um, that he's taken twice a day for the past few days. And also he's been taking something called Oliver. I can't even read it while you're doing that. Oh my goodness. He's been taking something called sucralfate, which is to coat his stomach, yeah, and um, to make his stomach and tummy feel all better. And then uh, he's also been taking a probiotic to counteract some of the negative effects of the metronidazole, which is an antibiotic. So antibiotics, of course, they kill all the bacteria in your stomach, the good bacteria as well as the bad bacteria. So the probiotic helps those um, good bacteria to reestablish themselves. And he's also been taking actually a human um, grade anti-acid, the same kind of anti-acid that we take when we have an upset stomach, he's been taking that too. So he's got, whoa, okay. Well, I don't know why you're lunging so quickly, but yeah. So he's had these four medications he's been taking this week, and I think you, you don't mind the medications, do you? Oh, maybe he does mind the medications. I don't know. He, he is destroying now um, the diagnosis, uh, the part which says that he had hemorrhagic gastroenteritis, so I guess he's not too happy about that. All right, so yeah, Oliver and medications, quite a saga. Oliver, it would be nice to keep some of this just in case we need it. I don't think I'm gonna be able to piece this back together. Oliver, you win. We'll just have to re remember this. We, we, I think we've written it down somewhere else what you're supposed to be taking. So um, we will keep doing our best, Oliver, won't we? To not eat things off the ground? How do you feel about this? Maybe we don't eat so many things off the ground that might have dangerous bacteria in them. Is that a good idea? No more things from the ground? Uh, he will keep doing what beagles do, which is when he finds something that's yummy, he's going to eat it. So, 
We will keep monitoring ca him carefully, make sure he's back to 100% health. We think he's actually at, probably at 100% health now. Obviously this, oh, you flinched a little bit when I touched you. This little bit of bare arm here needs to grow out again. But uh, once that's done, he will be 100% normal. And we just feel very lucky. We had um, wonderful doctors and nurses and veterinarians who took care of him and made him all better. And um, yeah, so I, I mostly made this video to let people know about Melena, M-E-L-E-N-A. You can look it up. If your dog ever does have these unusual dark colored stools, remember this is a serious thing and you should really take them to the vet or even to the emergency room like we did um, to get them checked out immediately. It could be a sign of all kinds of different conditions. In our case, it was a, something that was fairly easily corrected with antibiotics, but it could also be a sign of worse conditions. Um, lots of things cause internal bleeding, but you really want to get that checked out right away when a dog has that kind of stool. So yeah, that was it uh, for this uh, little video about Oliver's health. He is super healthy now, um, back to normal. And these things happen when you have a dog. And we were so just so lucky that we have modern veterinary medicine to take care of our Oliver. What do you think, Oliver? You just want your fur to grow back. Yeah, so do we. It will. It grows back pretty fast. Yeah, right there. That's where it's going to grow back. Okay, bye for now. Yes, we love you, Oliver. Mm-hmm.